Hello, thank you for tuning into this week's this week's pick a reading. The question for this one is, what do they want from you? For the main deck, I'm going to be using the Bonefire Tarot, Bonefire, yes, by Gabby Angus West. For the support of Oracle cards, Wisdom of the House of Night, uh, it is by, I always mess this part up. It's on the back here, but if you look it up on the internet, you'll find it very easily. It's on there. I think it's right here. Is that where it is? Jenna Della. I'm messing it up. I think that's just the other illustrations anyway. But there's that. All right. If you look it up, though, you'll easily find it. All right. Now, I'm going to do five piles. I've already shuffled, but i got to put the five piles out here. Move that over like that. I already shuffled the other one too. Let's see where that's going. Uh, I want that there. Don't know why, but I do. That one pile. It seems like it's got a lot. I guess we'll find out why. Um, actually, we're gonna do these. We'll do that. 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 Do this. 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 Yeah, I want that there. This pile, this one right here, that's going to be something I have a feeling. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to do the tourmaline first. So put that over here. Uh, I'll do the green calcite second. Rainbow titanium quartz third. The rose quartz, which I think that's going to be quite the long one. We'll do that fourth. And the lapis lazuli last. Okay, so let's start off with the first one. This is the tourmaline. So I'm not going to get into the meaning of the stones. I kind of think that kind of throws people off sometimes. So I'm just going to say this one's for the tourmaline. We'll move that down there. I mean, if you want to look up the stones, that's great. I just don't want it to become what the reading is about because I think sometimes people are really drawn to that and it might just kind of... All right, let's just get into the message. Now, what do they want from you? This one, like, I, I, I didn't even flip over this one yet. I'm, <clears throat> I'm kind of wondering why. Because this would be more on your, kind of leaning your way. So I'm wondering if there's just like a little bit of unknowing. All right, so you got self-worth, it's reversed though. And then you got the three of wands, which is usually like a travel, taking charge, making decisions, moving forward type that thing, type that thing, that type of thing. Like it can be, it doesn't have to be actual travel, but like moving forward with a decision, like this is what we're going to do and actually stepping forward and doing it at that same time. Like we're going to go out tonight and get dinner and then you get in the car and you're on your way. Like that's this type of card. Like you're moving forward, not just making the decision, moving on it. It could be travel, but I'm noticing self-worth for those of you this is clicking in with. It's saying that like you're a little unconfident about what's going on here, but the Three of Wands reversed is saying like it seems like something should be moving forward, and I almost feel like it's up to you to choose it, <clears throat> and it's not moving forward. And you also have a rem reminder here, um, kind of like, well, if I start steering, steering this ship, then I'm going to be continually steering the ship. All right, so what do they want from you? Um... I'm not feeling like making a decision right now is actually necessary, but I feel like that might be what's bothering you. Like somebody needs, needs to make a decision, nothing's being made. Call in a favor. So I feel like that says call in like support on this one. Whoever this is you're dealing with, you need like a third party is what I'm getting. Um, somebody else to, tell, to give you advice about if they were dealing with this, what would they do? Like if you have a trusted advisor or even if you just have somebody who's not really connected to the same situation, then you could kind of like boil it down to the nuts and bolts of like basically this is that person, this is you, this is the type of things you do together and this is what's happening now and what would they do if they were in this type of situation? I feel like that's what they're saying. Get like a third party opinion here. The reminder is telling me like you've gone through similar situations before. I almost feel like for the people that chose this, 
I really kind of do feel like this is a pattern thing. I really have to say. It's kind of like you come up to these roadblocks often in life. Uh, it may not, it's not only this type of person, but there's other situations that mirror this. And I feel like if you have a third party saying like what they're seeing and what they would do or like how they would handle it, it might give you a, a little glimpse into how how maybe this isn't working for you. Um, I'm all into people empowering themselves. And when I'm seeing the self-worth reversed with the Three of Wands, it's almost like, should you be making a decision? The other person I don't feel is empowering you to do that. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't, is what I'm getting. I almost feel, um, <clears throat> for this situation, whatever you're dealing with this person, I honestly feel like it's less about them and more about you. I feel like this person is kind of either they're transitional in your life or I don't see them really changing. Whatever they currently are in their, your life, they're not going to go up or down. Um, if they're just a passer through or there's somebody you work with once in a while, it's going to continue on that way. But I feel like the reason this is coming is saying you need to be empowered to decide what this is going to be. It's less about what they want from you and what do you I feel like that's what this whole thing is. If you're drawn to this no, this one, this uh, tourmaline, they're saying, stop making it about what they want. Make it about what you want, because that's not bad. Just because you move a situation the way you want it to go, it, it's not a good or bad thing. It's just, you know, every now and then, we all have to have our own control over our own lives. Because if you make this decision, because you get past this part where you're reviewing the situation, if you make this decision... The loyalty comes forward and the confidence is up on your side. Strength on your side. I really feel like that's the whole thing. It's almost like they're negating out the question. What do they want from you? I almost feel like the answer is who cares what they want from you? What do you want from this situation? Because for the people that chose this, I feel like it's more important for you to decide what you want and move things forward that way. If it passes or it fails, as long as it's going the direction you want it to go and you're in control... This may fall through, and that's fine, but you'll find something else. That's what I'm getting here. <clears throat> I know I, I know that's negating out the question. I, I flat out see it, but that's what they're doing. They're saying it doesn't matter what they want. It matters what you want. And it's like there's a pattern here. They're like, break this pattern. Don't worry about... I, I, this makes complete sense to me at the moment. Like, I'm clicking into, like... Because at first it was bothering me. Like, we're supposed to be giving you the answer what the other person wants. And I feel like for those of you that chose this, they're saying you're too caught up in that. What do you want? What do you want? That's what's important here. Um, that is literally the answer for this one. That is I feel like there's a lot of strength that can be gained by you. And for those of you who are coming towards this in a lover's respect, like, you know, there's somebody you're falling for, you're not sure where they stand, what they're doing, if anything's going anywhere. I know this isn't giving you that answer, you know, how they feel and stuff like that, which, which might be exactly why you came to this reading, to find that answer. But I feel like what they're saying is that it doesn't matter if you don't know where you stand. If they like you or don't like you, if they want to be with you or don't want to be with you, means nothing if you don't know exactly where you stand. You need to know where you stand. You need to move, move forward. And if that person is with you, great. If they're not, you need to move on to someone else. That's the answer. Okay. All right, I'm going to let that be. I know they negated out the question. I'm like, but you know what? If they negate out the question, who am I to, who am I to say no? <laughs> they flat out negated out the question. That's interesting. All right, let's move these out of the way <coughs> and do the next one, which is the green calcite. Actually, let me put this right where it goes. There we go. The green calcite. So those of you who chose the green calcite, this is going to go there. So we can flip that, I think. And we'll flip that. We'll flip this. Are any of these going to be right set up? There is. Ooh. What do they want from you? Eh, I feel like this is a... <laughs> um, okay, what was, what was the message under here? Because I'm kind of already getting this message really quick, but talk, talk about this with another... Another person, another colleague, another worker, whatever. Talk about this with another. My, what they want from you, like this is the only card that came right up, like right side up for you guys. And you'll notice it says obedience. If you can't read it, that's what it says, obedience. And it says you're blocked from things that way. Things stay in order. Like the opposite of chaos is order. But you'll also notice the Knight of Cups is reversed. 
So no other better, nothing better comes forward. You're not, you're, it's almost like you're stifled. You can't enjoy this. It's almost like that cup of wine, if you can see that. It's upside down, but in this case, instead of it pouring out, I feel like it's like a bottle locked in a fridge. And you don't have the key from it, for, from it, and you really want that bottle. Sure, you don't need it to survive, but you'd really like that bottle. And it's your bottle. That's the, that's the kick. It's like it's even your bottle. You just don't have the key to the fridge. It's just kind of like this is bull. What do they want from you? Flat out obedience. Um, that's flat out what I'm getting. But I'm also getting, you're getting blocked from a lot of things. Just because they want it, my what I'm getting from this, just because they want it doesn't mean they should have it. And just because they want it doesn't mean you have to, like, it doesn't mean like a yes, no answer. Like it's either obedience or disobedience. You can, I feel like you can start edging it and loosening it and changing things. Um, this is weird for me. Because I feel like you could end up in a situation that you feel like you should like, but you really, truly don't. It's almost like one of those things where you get caught up in this moment, and you're like, this is what I asked for, this is where I wanted to be, I'm getting all the benefits of the moment that I thought I wanted. But when it's happening, you're just like, the, the Knight of Cups reversed, you're just like, I got what I, what I asked for, and I, I don't like it. And I'm just kind of, it's almost like you're waiting it out. Like, I feel like if you get this far with it, it's just kind of like going to have to write itself out. Like you get kind of locked into something. And the longer it goes, it just feels like um, a lackluster, just kind of like, this feels like if it goes too far, you could get used to it, quite frankly. Whatever this person wants from you, it's obedience. And if it goes too far, I literally feel like you could get used to it and just keep going along with it. Almost like, what's that? I don't know what the name of that syndrome is. Is that Munchausen syndrome? It's, I probably have that wrong. But you know when like um, abused people just get so used used to their abuser that they think they like it, even though they really don't. It's just what they know and what they're used to. And the the benefits and reward, or like the rewards and discipline that they are subject to, even though the rewards are so minimal and the discipline is so overdone, that they get so used to it that they, they think they like it, but they really don't. I hope that makes sense, because that's what I feel is here is coming, like trying to make yourself believe that like it's okay, and I, it's not. That's what I'm worried about. <clears throat> if this person you're coming towards, and you can see signs of this, like sometimes it's like an elongated silence to make you feel inferior, or they just will ignore your request, or, you know, you'll say something and they'll just kind of railroad over you and make their own decision anyway. Or they'll try to make decisions for you and then kind of degrade you for trying to fix that or saying something about it. There's a, there's a, like a controversy here. It's a conflict here. I don't see the Five of Wands, obviously. But <clears throat> it's like, I feel like it's over obedience when I'm feeling this. What do they want from you? Is it, That's the answer, obedience. But I feel like they're also giving you some extra information here. Like, don't do that. <laughs> they're like, no, no, I don't feel like that's good. Um, if you talk this out with another person, especially when it's getting down to this area, if, if you end up you know, feeling like you have to go along with things, at some point you really need to run this by someone else. And I feel like they'll tell you what how they see it. If you find yourself making excuses or like, well... Yeah, but this is going on. Yeah, I know it sounds that way, but I know it sounds that way, but I know it looks this way, but if you find yourself doing that, that's a red flag. That's a red flag thing. Like, I feel like the people who chose this, they're saying the person you're dealing with wants obedience, but this looks like it's going way out of line, way out of line. Like, it's not good. So I think if they're saying that's what they want, and they're saying it's not good. <laughs> I feel like that's what they're saying. All right, I think we're good with this. All right, I'm going to let that one chill. <coughs> Whew. I mean, they're not making them simple today. Not that they need to be. They're coming through very strong, so it's not bad. But I'm like, not for nothing. Aren't most of mine a little bit something? There's no there's no guaranteed Disney ending here. I mean, sorry. <laughs> um, all right, this is the Rainbow Titanium Quartz. Right here. This was supposed to be upside down. Okay. 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 
What's, that sounded side. I didn't realize it. Okay, two of wands. All right, so that's almost like, the way I'm feeling this, especially on its side, it's almost like when you're running down a path, or even you're driving, or maybe you're going down a path on a bicycle, maybe that's a better way to do it. You're going down a path on a bicycle, you're going at a pretty good rate, you see a choice coming up, it's either left or right, and you really don't have a good option to stop. You've just got to make one choice or the other. Especially on its side, I feel like it's saying, it's coming at you quick, you need to make your choice. Now the fledgling reversed is telling me that you're not a novice at this, but you might be feeling like you are for some reason. It's almost like you're coming towards this choice. You don't know the area. You may be telling yourself, well, I don't know the area, so I don't know if I can really make a good choice, but I need to try to, and I only have a short time to do it. But they're saying you have a lot more going for you than you give yourself credit for. Um, you got your intuition, you got past experience. It's almost like when you're looking at these two paths, you can see a lot of sun on one side, you can see shadow on the other, and you can see immediately what one goes up and what one goes down, at least in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> and I'm seeing like the lust reversed here is like you're not excited about this choice is what I'm getting. And when you're coming towards this person, I feel like whoever you're asking what does this person want from you? They want you to make a choice, but I feel like they want you to make a choice for them. What they want from you is they want you to make the choice for them. Um, <clears throat> I don't see you really wanting to do that. I don't see you even liking that. But it's coming to a point where they're not making a choice. A choice needs to be made. So for doing like this, this bicycle thing, it's like they've forced you in the front. And you're saying, what way do you want to go? And they're like, well, whatever way you want to go, it's gonna, and it's going to come flat out down to literally whatever way you choose, they're going to follow. What do they want from you? They want you to choose what comes next. They literally are looking at you to choose what comes next. Now, you're noticing you have this here. This is upside down. It says, why are there restrictions? And that's a good question. Why are there restrictions? I don't know if you can see that. It's just, I told you it's there, but still. Um... <clears throat> Whatever way you choose, it doesn't mean you have to follow that path all the way. It's one of those things where, and I remember doing this as a kid. I don't know why, but this is what's popping in my head. Going down this dirt path, it's going down a hill, I'm on a bike, and I remember doing this, uh, and trying to stop and not being able to stop. The danger is to not choose either, either just to go you know, into like the bushes or something, which... I was young, so I'm not going to tell you how that turned out. But <laughs> whatever way you choose, you could start going down another path. Just choose left or right. Just quickly choose, but you can continue to try to stop. And it's just like you could choose one direction, not go that far, and then evaluate it is what I'm getting. Because I feel like that's what's happening. Um, <clears throat> they're saying, why are there restrictions? They're saying, even though it looks like you can't stop, choose just... Choose one of the directions. Just do your gut instinct, whatever. Just whatever pops in your head first. Choose that direction, but bring the situation to, to a stop. Bring it to a stop. I feel like you're gonna be. It's gonna be hard to do because it feels like it's one of those things that just keeps going forward. Just keeps going forward. Even when you've made your decision, because I feel like after you've made the decision, this other person who wants you to make the decision, they seem to let off a bit. It's almost like they're behind you, pushing pressure, making you go faster, and then first forcing you to make a decision. Once the decision's made, I'm getting a lot of pressure comes off. Stop the stop the show. Stop the boat. Stop the race. Stop the whatever's going on here. Once you've made your decision, I'm feeling this energy kind of back off a bit. So make your decision, but that doesn't mean you can't change your mind. And I feel like sometimes that's weird for people because it's almost like, well, I chose this, so now I got to stick with it. No, when you when you just keep that in mind as you're choosing. Like just say that to yourself. I'll choose this for now and stop. You don't have to tell this other person, but say that to yourself. I'm going to choose this for now and just go a little bit in there and then stop and evaluate and see if I need to change direction. <clears throat> because I'm getting, why are there restrictions? Like that was upside down. And if you turn it right side up, I'm getting that you stopping, evaluating what's really happening here, deciding if you really need to deal with this the way you are, because I'm, this energy around you, it's trying to force you into decisions. I'm not a fan of it. 
if you stop it after this point, like once you make the decision and you stop it after, evaluate, you then get the power to summon what you want. This is like you getting control. It's almost like a control victory card, in my opinion, in this situation for this reading. It's a summon, like bring forth what you want, literally. If you want victory, bring forth that victory. But this is kind of like after this other person thinks they forced you in and got what they wanted, then you stop while they're over there doing what they're doing, decide what you really want, and change the game to your rules, and you will be fine. They may want you to make the decisions. They may want to force you into decisions. You have other ways to play this game, so you can put this back on track the way you want it. And you know what? I'm also feeling for a lot of you, maybe you need to remove this person from whatever role they're in. If they're in a position where they can put pressure on you, maybe you have to find a way to change that. Um, it may not be an easy fix, but that may be something you might need to keep in the back of your mind going forward. Because this person seems to want to force you into making decisions. And I also feel like it's a catch-22. It's kind of like pass or fail. If it passes, they'll boast how they directed you that way and told you to do it and it was all their idea. If it fails, they'll be like, well, it was all that person's fault, a.k.a. all your fault. I don't like this energy. You need to do something about it. And I feel like if you stop here, reevaluate what you want, and then change direction as necessary, because I feel like you have the power to do that, you can own up to whatever it is. And that way you can also say, well, I made this decision on my own. I stopped and made sure it was the right decision. And then you got to work on getting this person. You have to change their role in your life. I'm getting it. You have to change. However they're able to put that pressure on you, you need to change that so that they don't have the ability to do that going forward. I think we're good. All right. So that was <coughs> Rainbow Titanium Quartz Crystal. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go into the next one. Let me get this out of the way here for you first. Logan, come on, man. Logan. Logan, don't do that. All right. We're going to ignore the cat. Logan. Oh, a little turd bell. All right, let's see what we got for rainbow titanium quartz. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to put this on the side, honestly. Yes. And this. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. Okay, so what do they want from you? <coughs> This actually, the Three of Swords is at the end here, but it's reversed. You also have a couple other good cards, like the Trapped card reversed, and the Wishing right side up, um, and the Invisible right upside down. So, <coughs> whatever this is starting out with, I feel like it's going to end well, in the sense of like releasing yourself from a problem. That Three of Swords reversed can still be painful, but it could, it could be at least looking at a brighter day. It's almost like after the storm... You know, realizing there's still a lot to clean up, but at least it's over type attitude. That's what we might be going into, so just to give you a heads up on that. So shed some light on the situation. And I noticed that was hidden under the Fool, the Choices on its side, the Eight of Coins. Um, there's problems here. Choices on its side. And I feel like the way it's coming in here on the side, that's what this card is. I'm kind of feeling like things like people are pushing forward. All right, so the person you're, do, you're doing things with, the person you're asking about here, they're either doing it themselves or they're connected to this situation where it's kind of like a landslide. It's just like you're sliding down the hill. You just have to keep making decisions. You just got to, you know, fly by the seat of your pants, keep moving. Somebody here keeps moving and has to keep making decisions. It's just kind of like one after the next. And it might be exactly why you're having this um, question, what do they want from me? Now, as it keeps going forward, the Fool card kind of dips down into the environment, which is telling me um, it's telling me somebody's just taking it for granted that things are going to work out. And they're expecting it to come to fruition soon. It's almost like we're sliding down this mountain. Sooner or later, we got to stop. Shouldn't be too much longer. Eight of cups here, or eight of, no, eight of coins here with the Fool card. <clears throat> and they could tell you more. They could tell you more. Now, I almost feel like... When I shed, light, uh, shed some light on the subject, on the situation, excuse me, down here in the environment, and I'm seeing this card on your side, listening reversed, which makes me feel like it's not coming through like, it's not just flat out obvious. It's not like saying, 
for example, your question would be, where are we going to dinner tonight? And this other person's saying, I'm, we're going to go to Burger King at 5 p.m. And I'm going to get a Big Mac and you can get what you want. That's what you're looking for. You're asking the question, where are we going tonight? They're answering, oh, I got some of this going on. I am hungry. I, I'm thinking we're going to go over there. I saw some things like what, over on 2nd Street. I saw this place and I know there's a couple burgers there. I'm thinking I'm going to do that, or but we'll see how it goes. And I'm seeing as it's, there's so much like, what do you call that? disruption with the information it's just it's coming in pieces at that too like this person thinks they're asking you but it's it's just not coming through all in one like it's not coming through easily it's coming through in pieces um <clears throat> instead of saying we're going to go to this burger joint whatever it is they're saying at this place in this area i'm thinking about hamburger blah 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 they're just really like not trying to, but it's kind of elusive how they're explaining it is what I'm getting with this. I feel like they're not shutting on the, the light of the situation that well. And I feel like there's a lot of other things. I feel like especially choices coming in on its side. There's a lot of confusion and disruption going on here at the time. So it's kind of like... It's kind of like you have a concert going on in one ear, yet kids crying in another. You're trying to pay attention to the street signs you're coming up to. Meanwhile, they're also telling you this information at the same time, realizing you're only human. I know it says listening upside down. Down. And it's meaning you're not hearing what's being told to you. But with all the confusion I'm feeling with the way these cards are coming together, it's like, it's not really shocking. There's a lot coming at you. So it's like, it's not like you're not trying to listen or you're just kind of like dirty dirt, and, you know, not paying attention. It's not like that. I feel like there's so much going on around you that it's just like, it's hard to like, you know, it's, it's not like you have time here to play a game and like figure out the clues. You don't really have that time to figure out that this person's kind of doing that to you to begin with is another thing. I don't know if they're purposely doing it. I don't think most of them are, but that's kind of how it's coming through. It's like you're getting the answer, but it's dropping forward in your face kind of in clues, and you're not getting that that's what's happening, but you have so much going on around you. It's just kind of like not only do I not have time for games, not even not even realizing you're doing that. Not that they're trying to, but that seems to be how it is. So what do they want from you? Um, I think they're trying to tell you what they want from you. That's the weird thing. <clears throat> they're trying to tell you what they want. They're dropping, like, heavy hints. <sighs> they're dropping heavy hints. I'm not even sure, like, if, if at the end of the day you just sit back and try to remember all your interactions with this person, you would be able to piece it together because I feel like things are coming forward in pieces. And I'm getting this Queen of Coins. No, it's the Knight of Coins. It's the Knight of Coins reversed. I'm getting like you're going to end up, if you haven't yet, you're going to get annoyed with this person because I feel like to you, especially with the listening upside down, they I feel like they're coming back saying, well, I keep telling you what I want and you're not listening. But the way they're telling you, it's just kind of like it's not hitting. The, the Knight of Pentacles, I'm feeling you get annoyed with this person. Um, ironically, for this one, I'm kind of feeling like they, they're, they're not communicating well with you. They want you to understand them. <clears throat> Ironically, they do want you to understand them, but it's not making it. I'm trying to like connect stronger. Like, what do they want from you? They do want to do things with you, and I feel like that's one of the things they're communicating. They're trying to get you both on the same page to do things together, but it's it's still it's coming through very weak. Um, they do want your attention. It just the energy is weak coming this way. And that's this is the environment. It's very weak. I don't feel like it's very strong. It's not communicating well. Um, I do feel like they want more of your time. I just don't feel like they have the confidence to bring it forward the way they need to. They're not communicating clearly enough. <clears throat> I literally feel like the answer is they want more of your time. But the way this feels, I'm not really sure that's doable for the people who chose this. I mean, either when you're with this person or around this person, there's there's too busy at that time or your life is just way too busy anyway <sighs> because i'm getting there's a change here invisible is getting reversed in other words i feel like i feel like there could be i don't want to say an argument but i do think you might come forward very i want to say harshly not like you're trying to come off that way but like i feel like out of sheer frustration it's almost like this person is saying, you know, I thought we were going to do this. And you're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I thought you were going to meet me here at this time and we were going to have food. And you were just kind of snapping back. When did you tell me that? 
and they're telling you when they did, and you're like, I don't remember that at all. It's the way they told you, is I'm getting. The invisible cut reversing is, I feel like you're coming right, right to the point with it, kind of like, I don't know what you're talking about. You need to stop talking in riddles. If you want this to work out with us, if you want things to go fly right with us, you're going to have to just write down flat out, point blank what you want. I want to go to Burger King at 5 p.m. in what town you're talking about, and I will be there, or I'll get us there, or whatever. If you're just going to say, I might this, I might that, I'm thinking about burgers, I'm thinking about this part of town, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to make it. You also have the wishing right side up with the trapped. I'm noticing it's down here in the environment now that I'm seeing that. Trapped is reversed, and the Three of Swords is reversed. That's under this. Um, <clears throat> that's right here. There we go. I really feel like they do want more of your time. I feel like that's the whole point. They want to see you more. They want to be around you more. I feel like what they're giving here is extra advice is like you kind of snapping at them a little bit. Like if you could resist that, that's great. But you've got to make your point heard. You've got to make sure they realize that you're not impressed with this moment, that you didn't mean for whatever happened to happen. You actually wanted to also, I feel like whatever they wanted, you want the same. I feel like that's another clue here. Whatever they want, you want the same. It's just the way they communicated it failed. And that you're not happy it failed. If you do that and exp express that well, like, I am not happy that this failed. I was actually moving in the same direction. I'm just so busy that I can't decipher your clues. If you want things to happen with us or you want things to go forward correctly, you need to be point blank. You need to be flat out obvious. Write it down black and white and as simple as you can because my life is busy. I don't have time for anagrams. Um, if you do that... It releases this, I mean, it's not going to be fun. The, ten, the Three of Swords is telling me there's going to be hurt feelings with that, but you'll notice the trapped card reverse is on the environment side, the, this other person you're dealing with, which is telling me they're going to realize, oh, okay, I have to be more, you know, succinct or precise with what I'm saying. I have to be very clear, clear with what I want if I expect things to work. You get the wishing on your side right set up. Things will get better for both of you. Um, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of hurt feelings, but you can iron that out afterwards. And I feel like you can actually work in a good way with this. Like the next time this comes around and things work out correctly because the communication was just flat out what it is, black and white, no frills, just, you know, as simple as possible. I want to go here at this time. Bam, done. And you can kind of like heal this three of swords reversed a little bit. Cause even though it's the three of swords reversed, there's still a little upset energy here. But when the next time it works out and it works out correctly, you can praise that. Like, thank you for just being real direct with that. I'm so glad we get to spend this time together. I'm glad this worked out so easily. You know, and that will heal any residual pain. And the, the more that happens, the more you play that up. Like, I like this. I like when you're direct and you just say exactly what you want and we can do it. I like the direct communication. D direct communication. Direct, direct, direct. I just want to say that all day now. <coughs> So what do they want from you? They want to spend more time from you, with you. I feel like you're on the same page with this. I just feel like what they're saying, the problem is why there's even a question about that is because of the the weird, the confusion going on and the, like, they're, they're giving it to you in pieces. It's almost like a puzzle. I don't, I don't think most of them realize they're doing that, but when you kind of snap at them, it'll put it in focus. I need direct, give me direct communication if you want this to work out. I feel like that's what you need to tell them. It'll work out. All right. That's what we have for Rose Quartz. Uh, let me move this out of the way. Try to pick up all these cards without mixing them up more. If I can pick them up, which might be a challenge in itself. Uh, what do we got going on here? All right, so get these out of the way. The last one I have, what is the last one I have? Lapis Lazuli. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we got that here. No kitties. No kitties right now. Thank you. <coughs> All right. So for those of you who chose chose this one, what do they want from you? You got strength kind of moved up towards your side. You got movement kind of on their side. Now, I don't feel like this is going to be a bad ending. I feel like this might be a kind of a weird ending, though. There's a little bit of stress. You're headed for some stress. 
Um, I feel like that's what they're saying here. Like, what they want from you is going to put stress on both of you is what I'm getting. I feel like they want something you don't want to give. And I feel like they may end up with what they want. But I feel like this is shutting down a lot. Um, they, I feel like the stay open for possibilities is over here, down there. It's not up at the top. Like, I noticed I didn't put it up here, and it was upside down. I feel like what you need to do with this situation is because they want, there's something they want from you, but it's flat out what you don't want is what I'm getting. What do they want from you? Something that you don't want to give is what I'm getting. <laughs> I know that sounds a little cryptic, but I feel like that's purposeful. For those of you who came with this to this reading with purpose, like, what do they want from me? There's The first thing that pops in your mind that you don't want to do is exactly what they do want to do. Um, I'm, giving, I'm getting that you don't have to give in to that, though. I'm getting reversed. These two are cards reversed. Is like, I almost feel like you're giving in to this person. Um, you're in danger of giving in to this person and regretting it, is what I'm getting. And even though it's the Five of Cups, it is reversed, which is telling me they might get what they think they want, but the outcome is not gonna is not gonna hold water. I feel like it's gonna be like a very empty. It's almost like they want to play the lottery, and their idea is like I want to I want to win win big win big. They end up with a scratch off and win a hundred bucks, and like it's really not what they were thinking. It's it technically is winning big. If you think about it, if you put in a dollar, you get a hundred bucks. That's kind of winning big, depending on who you are. <clears throat> but it's so such a short-term victory that it's not really what they wanted. They may have thought it was what they wanted, but it's not really working out. Um, they want you to. They want something that you don't want to give them. I'm trying to get more specific with it, but it's something that you're going to regret. I can get that too. You don't. You literally do not want to do this. Playful reversed the. Um, Nine of Swords here. The Nine of Swords is kind of, you notice, it's not totally up on your side. Like, if the middle here is what's going on between you, the strength with the movement, movement's more on their side. Like, they're trying to push you forward. You can physically do whatever it is, is what I'm getting. I just get that you really don't want to. There's going to be some regret on their side, too, and I just feel like this could be... Whatever the situation is, this could cause harm down the road. Because I feel like this is eroding trust between the two of you in the sense of, like... Whoever you're dealing with, you're kind of like, you're not seeing what I want. You're not seeing how things affect me. I don't want to get in a position to where I kind of feel railroaded into making a choice you want me to make. So you might steer clear or kind of avoid this person. This might not go well. Now, with the stay open to possibilities, and it was reversed to start with, just to be fair, it's like this. I feel like the reason this reading, or if you chose this, they're saying, all right, they want what you don't want to give them. They're also saying, don't give in to that. They're saying, instead of giving into that, turn this around. Turn these two cards around, and it gets rid of these two is what I'm getting. Now, the playfulness and the empress is saying, you know what? I don't really want to do that. The empress, when she's in her true strength, takes care of others. That is true. But she takes care of herself as part of that. She's included. Like, she's a part of the whole situation. She knows if she runs herself to depletion... She knows that she can't help others if she has if she's run herself to depletion. If she's stressed herself out and just had, does work, 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 no fun, no joy, she doesn't get anything that she wants, she will she will fail sooner or later because it's not sustainable. So if you turn these two cards around, you don't give in to what this person wants. You become a little bit more playful from it, but you also put back, like, this is what I want. You can't give in to something you don't want to give, but you can, you're like, let's talk about things. What options do we both like? I don't want to do that, so that's off the table. Whatever that is that they want. You just say, that's off the table. I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that? No. Could I do that? The answer is still no. It doesn't matter. If they, if, I feel like if they come back at you, be like, but could you could you do it? The answer you would give back is, doesn't matter. I'm not doing it. So it's we're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, so it's not. The answer is makes no sense. Like If, we want to, if you want to push me for it, I'm going to say no because I'm not doing it. So the answer is no either way. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. That's the first thing. Bring some playful energy into it, though, and renegotiate this. Stay open to possibilities. Push them to, to work this out with you. What works for both of you? What would make you both happy? And I feel like this is going to elongate the situation a bit. It's going to stall things out a little bit. Yeah, that's true. But you're going to have a better outcome because these cards are gone. I feel like those two last cards are gone. They don't even play in anymore. Um, 
I feel like if you do this, you have a better chance of having a successful successful connection with this person, whatever that is. <clears throat> they want you to move forward. They want you to do what they want from you. They, they want you to do something you don't want to do. They just want you to go along with them currently. But the advice here, which I feel like is coming through with it, is like, don't do that. Don't do that. Tell them I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. So that's not an option anymore. Just if I if you're asking me, can I do it? The answer is no, because you know what? I can't do it if I don't want to do it. And that's the answer to that. And we're done. But let's look at other options. What other things, what other things would you like to do? And then we can work through it to find a happy medium where we both end up with situation a situation we both want to do. That's the happy medium in this. If you don't want to do it, don't give in at all. But Work to try to find something that you both want to participate in, you both want to do. You will find success with that. I feel like I started yelling a little bit. I hope I didn't. Because <laughs> I'm feeling a little really strong energy. Like, they just want you to go along and do what they want you to do. They just want you to do give in to them and give them what they want. I'm just getting don't do it. I'm getting don't do it because you don't really want to do that. It'll just It's not going to work out for either of you in the long run, truthfully. It's not worth it in the long run. All right, I think we're done. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.